so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, here we go with round one. They have locked the door behind Khabib Nurmagomedov and Bruce Lee. How do you see this interesting stylistic matchup playing out here? Khabib Nurmagomedov fears nothing, but if there is a guy that makes you a little bit more cautious, it's Bruce Lee. How does Khabib attack such a different approach to fighting? Be like water, my friend. As the great Bruce Lee said, he'll try to do that against Habib Nurmagomedov. He's working in some solid leg kicks. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Pretty good straight punch there by Lee. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Overhand left. So more output, at least in the early going. Over and over, this guy's getting hit. Right in his face. Big body kick. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, feet on the hips here. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tough. Oh, he escapes! He got out! Speed. Wow, that is great submission defense. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Back and forth we go here! Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, double jab there by Nurmagomedov. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeed. Ooh, he didn't see that one coming. Beautiful combination up top. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Well, oh, another takedown for Khabib Nurmagomedov, but it's less about the takedown, DC, for your teammate and more about what he can do if they're just an impossibly difficult guy to buck off of you once he gets that top control. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Ooh, 
Ooh, right into side control, D. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. He's attacking the Kimura, watch for him to step over to try to get him up on his hip. Oh, he's out of danger! Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Good work, guys. Come on. Lee get tattooed by that stiff jet. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Also, an early lead for him here tonight. He came out aggressively, and that decision has certainly paid off. Good start to round one. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Lee. And there's another takedown attempt. Good eyes to not take that shot. Fifteen seconds. here with the single collar in the clinch. Now right. round two is next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Ready fight. Ready. Second round here. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game. His ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Excellent ground and pound there by Nurmagomedov. Gomez. That was a slick transition. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight on Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Man! Oh! Oh, big left. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself, with some hands, you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the strike. He was showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the strike. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Oh, that rear head choke is tight. You gotta be kidding me. He's out. Work. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Medov's in half guard. Now he's going full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damn. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Yeah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strike. Oh, he got to the spot. Trying for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, nice elbow from the bottom. Hard to win a fight fighting off of your back, but he's effective here. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Nermago Meta. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All 
right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pound. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Well, let's take a look at the numbers. He is landing at a very high percentage here tonight. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. So some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Now Marco Medoff's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, dude. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. 15 seconds to go. Oh, good ground and pound here. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Ten minutes in the books. I've never seen somebody with such control down All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Strong straight left there. All right, so there it is. Yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John. And you could think that he's setting him up to go up top. Or, honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes it. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Marco Medoff's back in half court. Nice pass. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Two hands on the choking guard. Still trying to get the submission here. What, guys? Come on. He's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. And there you go, again, half guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, there it is, now he's going to mount. series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. All right, so as advertised thus far as these fighters continue to trade strikes. Beautiful body kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure. Nermago Medov gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Mago Medov going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Nice jab. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Nurmago Medov goes to the takedown here and gets it late in the round. He passed the half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, he's out, the fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. in half goal. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes fight? as the fight progresses. Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. Lee gets up, he is back on the feet here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Nice kick there by Lee. Nermanko Medov has got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, right into Mount. Khabib's back in side control. All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. And busy as he looks to improve position here. 
right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Neon belly, big strikes landing here. Khabib's back to the side control now. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Nermanko Medov's in half guard now. Oh, right in the mount. Less than two minutes now to go. Nermanko Medov's right back to the full mount. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get so. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Big punch land. Ooh. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing on the side of the opponent's head over and over again. Establishing the jab here. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Good body shot. Ten seconds now to go in the round. <laughs> Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready? You ready? Good. It is the fifth and final round. Ooh, nice straight left hand. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reaction. Marco Medov's in half court. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Lee's back into full guard. And there you go, again, half guard. 
change of the position. position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches, but it's very key. All hard as he gets back to his feet. Late in this final round, we'll see if he can rally. Let's see if he can rally. It's gonna be difficult, but hey, he's got a chance, and that's all you can ask for. Slicing elbow leg. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finisher, you're getting an effort? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Medoff. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Here. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Nermago Meta. Push him off! Push him off! Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yep. Lee gets back up again. Real nice body kick land. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Another big thing. Khabib's in half guard. Now he's going full mount. Marco Manoff's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Holding the position, still working for a submission. Versus the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Nermago Meta. All right, side control now. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Elbow to the body as the ground and pound continues to work here by Nermago Meta. He's got to start going down. Ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermako Meta. Oh, there's the final horn. We go to the scorecards. One of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, 
and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Manumera. All right, so judges, scorecards needed, not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like this. You want it to look dominant. He looked dominant tonight in all areas of mixed martial arts. There is no question who is going to get their hand.